In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can absolutely glitch out the cover four quarters defense in Madden 22 for a one play score. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to my channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now I'm in the Seattle Seahawks playbook right now, and I believe that the Seattle Seahawks playbook is the best playbook right off the bat for running the gun bunch offense because you have the bunch, the bunch tight end. You also have the bunch open tight end, which I think is a really underrated formation, as well as some really good under center formations, and as well as the, the very good running formation of the trips tight end offset. Now the play we're going to be going over in this video is the clear out SEL, but before we get too far into the video, I want to make sure that you know about my text message membership. What my text message membership is, is something completely for free that I do for you guys and for my Madden community, and all you have to do is basically text me, text the word Madden to me at 208-218-6900. And what that's going to do is it's going to sign you up for my text message membership where I release free offensive and defensive uh, ebooks and guides every single week to the community. So again, the way you sign up for it is really simple. Just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Okay, guys. So this is the easiest cover four quarters bomb of all time. We're in clear at SE out. Our bunch is set to the wide side of the field. All we're going to do is we're going to put the R1 receiver on a streak route. And that's really it. But what I like to do is put the back on an in route just in case I need a check down. And what you're going to see here is that the R1 receiver is going to bomb the cover four quarters over the top for a one play touchdown. This is going to work every single time. Let me show it to you again. So again, we're just going to come out in the play cover four show two which is cover four quarters logic out of the 335 wide. Put the streak out there, put the out route out there. And what you're gonna see here is the R1, once again, one play score against what I believe to be, at least at this point in the season, the best defense in Madden 22 next gen on PS5. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because match defense so far to me is the toughest defense to beat. But as you can see right here, um, this thing is just killing it for a one play score every single time. Now, there's an adjustment that your opponent can make that I want to go over in this video. Um, it's something that a lot of pro players will do whenever they're running match coverage, especially against Gun Bunch. They're going to put that X uh, safety into a deep half zone. So I put him in a deep half zone, and I just want to show you what's going to happen. You're going to see that he's in a deep half. Yes, but what you'll notice is that you can actually pass lead this to the inside and have an opportunity for a user catch. Now, there's a little bit of a trick at which you can make this even more open if you know that this is something that they're doing uh, repeatedly. But again, I want to show this to you one more time. Deep half adjustment, all we're doing. Watch this R1. You see right there, pass lead to the inside. And as you see, we've glitched out the cover two adjustment for a one play score. So we've glitched out cover four quarters. We now glitched out cover four quarters of the deep half. And the next thing that I wanted to show you how to do is how you can glitch out cover four quarters with an inside third. So Whitehead, I'm gonna put him on an inside third so you're gonna see he's gonna go in the middle of the field. And we're gonna use that same route combination. And what I want you to watch happen is you're gonna see here that we're gonna still be able to hit this or we can just simply check it down to the back if we don't like what we see. Now in my opinion, the inside third is actually a better way to adjust this year against cover four. Uh, or against um, out, out of this cover four to put that X guy on a inside third, that inside safety. Let me show this to you one more time. And again, I just want you to watch kind of how this is going to work out. What you're going to see, though, is this tight end route gets wide open as well against that in a one-on-one -on -one isolation opportunity. Okay. Now, let me talk to you about one other thing that you need to be aware of if they bluff the cover four. So one of the ways that they can do that is basically by um, just shading their coverage down. And what this is going to do is it's still going to play match principles up top, but they're going to basically be interest, uh, a different style underneath. So this is a way that they could you know, potentially take away your running back route. And so there's another little trick that I like to use um, whenever I'm worried about maybe something else that your opponent could do. And that's simply to take the square receiver and put him on a smart routed out route. Take the triangle receiver, put him on an in, and streak the R1. So you see we still have that three vertical uh, concept over here on the right side. And what you're going to see now is, again, that tight end is completely isolated. And 
Whitehead made a really good play on the ball right there, but you should be able to hit that tight end in a situation like that. So if you're getting that inside third style of an adjustment, then you're going to see that right there. I'm going to show you this one more time. So just put him on an out or a comeback or something just to hold that guy. And you'll see you got this inside pass lead that you can at least aggressive catch. It's where your only your receiver can get it. So not only are you going to beat cover four quarters with this play, but you're going to be able to beat a lot of the adjustments that they like to do out of cover four quarters. Now, real quick, this is a little bit of a pro tip, but let's say you have hot route master and you can put that try or that R1 on a corner route. If you put that R1 on a corner route and they do that inside third adjustment that I just went over with you, then you're going to be able to bomb them again for a one play score as long as Brady gets the ball to him. And the way that that's going to look, and you can actually do this, um, you can actually do this with an out route, but I want to show you with a corner first. So if I use a corner route to the R1, watch what's going to happen. You're going to see the circle receiver is going to get open over the top for a one play score with that inside third adjustment. Okay, but that's not as likely to get open against a deep half. So this is where you kind of have to, you know, a little bit of cat and mouse game with the cover four quarters adjustments as far as how you're going to bomb them. But let's say you put this R1 on a curl. Let's say you don't have power mesh, you put them on a curl. Watch what happens here. Um, you're going to see that, you know, it's not going to get open. But let me show you an out route. Typically, a curl or an out route will work just fine with this. So smart route it out route to R1. And now I want you to watch quarters and you see the ability to bomb over the top. Now, I would never, when you bomb this year, touch pass is actually not a good move. Go ahead and just bullet it out there. But as you see, it's gonna be able to beat it. So one more time, I wanna show you the adjustment. So again, cover four quarters. I'm taking white head and I'm putting him on an inside third. Okay, that's the only adjustment I'm gonna make out of my quarters. And then I'm just gonna put the R1 on a smart routed out. And you'll see here, they take a false step and you can hit Brown over the top for an absolute laser. So those are some several different ways at which you can beat cover four quarters. It all starts with this adjustment from clear out. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna streak the R1 receiver. And that little streak is gonna do so much for your offense. You're just gonna pass it, that's the inside. And as you can see, we're able to beat cover four quarters for a one play score. Thanks for watching this video. If you wanna sign up for my text message membership and receive free offensive and defensive guys all Madden 22 season long, Simply text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Again, that's 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you know whenever we go live, we'll be going live every single day around 5 o'clock p.m. Uh, Mountain Time, which will be about 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time with Madden 22 Gameplay. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you guys on the sticks.